More than 100 Fort Carson soldiers returned home this morning after nearly a year-long deployment in Kuwait. For one soldier who followed in her mother's footsteps, this homecoming comes full circle. New at noon, KRDO News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi shows us this touching reunion. It's been months of waiting for this moment. But it's been years for the Mall family. This was taken 13 years ago when I redeployed back in 2003. This is our daughter Rachel who's coming back today off of her first deployment back from Kuwait. 13 years later, the roles are reversed. My mom first came back from Kuwait in this very room. We received her from Kuwait, and now she's receiving me. Here we are. Receiving what the same exact banner Rachel made her mom 13 years ago. We saved it, and so now it's come back around to our family again to welcome her home. The mountain medics were deployed to provide medical and health support to the U.S. Signs filled the room thanking soldiers for their service. It's incredible. Uh, after the nine months, uh, this is all I could wish for. Well, as a veteran myself, I have to say that my emotions and the most important thing right now is pride. Not only for my son, but all of the combat veterans that went with him. One soldier's daughter says she's ready to have her dad by her side again. He missed graduation and me learning to drive, a lot of things, but he'll be here now. Uh, fantastic. It's awesome. I'm glad to be here. To be here, back home, in the arms of loved ones. And for one soldier, it was about following her family's legacy. Surreal. <laughs> At Fort Carson, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13. Angelica, thank you. Another homecoming ceremony is happening at 515 tonight. 20 Fort Carson soldiers from the 4th Combat Aviation Brigade, 4th Infantry Division are returning.